Guys, this is an exciting time for all of us gamers. As GP prices continue to drop and stock becomes available, we're actually starting to build PCs again, just like the good old times. You might be wondering also why I have three GPUs here, and we'll get to that in a bit. But there recently has been a shift in the paradigm. Before, we used to combine any CPU with any GPU and not have to worry about losing out on performance, right? We would combine AMD CPUs with NVIDIA graphics cards, or Intel CPUs with AMD graphics cards, and everything would be fine. That is no longer the case, thanks to AMD's Smart Access Memory, or SAM. This basically lets the AMD CPU access the entire memory aperture of the GPU, which results in some pretty significant performance gains. And one of the few ways to achieve this is by combining an AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPUs with an RX 6000 series GPU. So that is why I'm building an all AMD system today to take advantage of the extra performance from SAM, plus AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, a game-changing upscaling technology to help boost frame rates even more. So combining all of these AMD technologies together is gonna bring us some nice FPS games, which you will see later in the video when I do the actual real-world gaming uh, examples. So why the three graphics cards, you might be wondering. Well, I actually have three CPUs as well, one to pair with each of the graphics card, and that's because I'm building three different configurations inside this case. One for each specific budget. So starting off, we got the entry-level system with the Ryzen 5 5600 and the RX 6650 XT. That features eight gigs of VRAM and 32 megabytes of Infinity Cache. This bundle is great for maxing out games in 1080p. Moving on up, we got a mid-range system pairing the Ryzen 7 5700X with the RX 6750 XT. For those that want a game in 1440p on high or max settings. And of course, I can't forget about my ballers out there who want to take advantage of every bit of performance to make sure they are enjoying their games to the fullest. We are going with the new Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which is currently the world's fastest gaming desktop processor and the first desktop CPU to feature AMD 3D vCache technology. We are pairing that with the new RX 6950 XT graphics card from ASRock. This configuration is great for 4K gaming and or maxing out games in 1080p and 1440p, especially if you have high refresh rate monitor. The rest of the parts will be the same just for consistency. We're gonna go with the ASUS Strix X570 board, 16 gigs of RAM with 3600 MHz frequency and an 850 watt power supply to power everything up. The RDNA 2 architecture from the GPUs are very power efficient, which means we don't really need a high wattage power supply. The 6950 XT only has a TDP of 335 watts. I'm building the PC inside the super hyped up Height Y60 case in black since that is the color scheme I'm going with, but yeah. Let's put together the PC and show you guys what it can do. So the build is complete and it came out looking amazing, obviously, but what I really wanna focus on in this video is the performance. So when you combine AMD's 
smart access memory and FSR or RSR, you're able to gain additional FPS in games. Um, it's basically free performance just by enabling a few settings. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna start off with the entree level configuration using the Ryzen 5 5600 that's paired with the RX 6650 XT. And the first game we're looking at is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is running on the native resolution, so 1080p with ultra settings, and we can see an average of 78 FPS without any of the features enabled. Now we're going to enable AMD's Smart Access Memory, aka SAM, and the way to do this is by restarting the PC and going into the BIOS. Once you are here, navigate over to the Advanced tab and scroll down until you see PCIe Subsystem Settings and hit Enter. Make sure to enable above 4G decoding and set the resize bar setting to enabled or in some other cases like mine to auto. Then you can hit F10 to save the settings and boot to Windows. In some cases, you might have to restart the PC one more time for the settings to apply, but you can always check and see if AMD SAM is activated through the AMD Adrenaline software. When you open it up, go to the Performance tab near the top, then select Tuning and scroll all the way down. If the AMD SAM setting is set to Enabled, then it's already activated. So launching Horizon again, we can immediately see a huge FPS improvement. We're now averaging closer to 90 FPS in the same settings. That's about a 12 FPS bump just by enabling a setting in the BIOS, but we're not done yet. I'm going to go into the game settings and enable Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which bumps up the FPS even more to 105. That's another 15 FPS more. So in total, we were able to go from an average of 78 FPS to 105. This gave us a 33% performance gain just by easily changing two settings. No fine tuning or overclocking needed. The best part is that anyone can do this. It is completely free software available to everyone that meets the system requirements. AMD SAM enables Ryzen processors to harness the full potential of the graphics card memory. And because of this, you will need an AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics card, an AMD 500 series motherboard, and either a Ryzen 5000 series or 3000 series CPU. So if your system meets these minimum requirements, I encourage you guys to pause this video restart your PC and enable the SAM option in your BIOS to take advantage of the extra performance. Now I do have to say, this is not guaranteed performance for all the games out there. Worst case scenario, it won't bring you any additional performance on some titles out there, unfortunately, but it doesn't hurt to leave the option on in case you do come across a game that does support SAM and you can take advantage of the extra frame rates. Now AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution on the other hand has a much broader minimum requirement as it's not dependent on an AMD GPU. You can practically use this feature with any GPU out in the market ranging from the AMD RX 500 series graphics cards to Nvidia's RTX 30 series cards. Enabling FSR in the game itself will also help boost frame rates, however it works differently than SAM. FSR works by rendering the game you are playing at a lower resolution and upscaling it to make your game look like it's running at native resolution, except with a massive boost in performance. It's basically AMD's answer to NVIDIA DLSS. It's not perfect by any means, but it does its best to fill in the missing details at a lower resolution. While playing the game, you don't really notice a difference in quality and it will no way affect your gaming experience. But if you compare them side by side and zoom in closely, you can see the difference. Some of the details are lost in the distance, like from the water and the trees, looking at this clip from Horizon. We also lose some sharpness and the overall image tends to be more on the softer side. Not all games support FSR, but there are a healthy amount of titles that do with more being released over time. Now for titles that don't support FSR natively, you can enable AMD's RSR, which stands for Radeon Super Resolution. It's basically a driver-based version of FSR that can be enabled globally in your Radeon software, and this works across thousands of games. Here we are testing it with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which currently does not support FSR, but through the Adrenaline software, we can enable RSR, and we can downscale the resolution to improve our frame rate. So a native 1080p with ultra quality settings, we are averaging about 87 FPS without any of the features. Enabling SAM with RSR, we got it up to 100 FPS. So that is a healthy 13 FPS bump. 
Now let's move on to the second configuration, the mid-range 1440p setup with a Ryzen 7 5700X paired with an RX 6750XT. We're going to start with Horizon once again in native 1440p without any of the features enabled. We can see an average of 74 FPS in ultra quality. But when we enable SAM with FSR, we jump up to 110 FPS, giving us a nice 33% FPS gain. For Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we were averaging around 66 FPS in native 1440p ultra settings, but enabling SAM with RSR gave us a nice 38% FPS boost, averaging around 106 FPS. And finally, we got the high-end 4K gaming setup with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D paired with an RX 6950 XT. A native 4K without any features enabled, Horizon Zero Dawn was averaging about 74 FPS, but enabling SAM with FSR bumped us all the way up to 110 FPS, which is a nice 33% performance gain, very consistent with the previous tests so far. And finally, for Assassin's Creed and native 4K, we were averaging only about 65 FPS in ultra quality with no features enabled. And after switching on SAM with RSR, we nearly doubled in performance up to 132 FPS, which is the most we have gotten so far. It seems like the most gains are coming from the highest resolutions, at least for the games we have tested. But yeah, some very impressive performance from FSR or RSR combined with SAM. The way I see it, if you guys have the supported hardware for it, just enable it. It's pretty much free performance at no extra cost to you. Worst case scenario, the game doesn't support any of these features and you don't gain any significant performance increase. But you know, even if you can get slightly higher frame rate while enabling these features, I don't see why you shouldn't enable it. I feel like this will have a huge impact on building PCs in the future, especially once this goes mainstream and everybody knows about it. If we get more titles that support upscaling technology and AMD smart access memory, I got a good feeling that a lot of people will be doing all AMD builds. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Are these features enough to persuade you to go with an old AMD build? If not, let me know in the comment section why. I appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoyed it, do let me know by tossing a like, especially if you want to see more types of these videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.